Well, there we go. The bottom is now in for Bitcoin and Solana. This is the time where I start doubling down on my top conviction bets. But before I tell you what I'm going to be buying, let me paint a picture on why we're not going any lower. First of all, let's talk about Solana. In these markets, you always buy the rumor and sell the news or buy the news and then sell the event. Remember when we had the rumor for the Bitcoin ETFs, we were all the way down here at $27,000 before this huge leg up to new all-time highs. Now Solana is in a very similar situation where it's got three different spot ETFs from the 21 shares ETF, Vanek US ETF, and the free IQ Canadian ETF. So arguably for Solana, we're right here where Bitcoin was. And I pretty much expect op only from this point for Solana into new all-time highs. And then you've got micro fractals repeating on the daily time frame, finding support, right here and it's really important that we get above 160 dollars so we can flip bullish above this range and fire a long confirmation above the 50 tma strategy at around about 158 dollars in the higher time frames we're playing out this exact mid cycle accumulation from the previous cycle we've got a triple bottom underneath the bull market support bands just like we had back in 2021. The accumulation range looks mostly done, especially with the rumors of the ETFs coming. I think we should easily push up to $1,300 for Solana this cycle. If you're new to the channel and wondering where I get $1,300 from, this is why. If we overlay Ethereum's previous bull run in terms of price structure, you can see following this bar chart, copy and paste, this would put Solana at $872. However, if we go up to Ethereum's previous all-time high in terms of market cap, this would put Solana at $1,317. I think there's a lot of bullish cases happening for Solana right now, which is why I've got my eyes on $1,300. To name a few besides the ETFs coming out and institutions looking at Solana, we've got the ZK compression upgrade making gas fees for token accounts 5,000 times cheaper, and we have Fire Dancer, another Solana validator to look forward to towards the end of the year. So in my opinion, it's going to be pretty much up only from here. The accumulation phase is done and we're right where we were in the previous cycle. In my opinion, we'll tear faces soon. Now for Bitcoin, a lot of people were absolutely terrified during this dip. Over on our channel though, we've been nothing but bullish, telling you that this was a massive bear trap all along. And despite huge fear in the crypto space, we held the macro 786 Fibonacci for Bitcoin. The monthly candle has also just fired green, and this is while we're still in one of the largest bull flags I've ever seen in any chart in history. We also held the bull market support bands and back tested this previous resistance to support, so I now have my eyes up at 76,000. What's going to get us there besides the Bitcoin ETF inflows and everything else we've looked at today? A massive hidden bullish divergence on the daily time frame, which has been taking place since round about the start of the year, the 23rd of January is where we got our first touch point in this massive bullish divergence. Guys, remember day-to-day -day swings are always noise. It's very simple. You buy the fear before price discovery, and then you sell round about $130,000 for BTC and around $1,300 for Solana. There's a reason why I make update videos every few days rather than daily TA videos. Keep your eyes on certain levels. Watch your thesis play out. Day-to-day -day swings are just that, day-to-day -day swings. Anyway, it's just a quick update from me today. I will be letting you know what are my biggest conviction bets in the Solana ecosystem right now, which I will be doubling down on. Number one is ore supply, basically trying to emulate Bitcoin on Solana. You can see this was our previous chart that we drew where we have been trading within this ascending wedge formation on ore supply. And you can see every single time we break above these typical trend lines, we come up to the top of the range, we form a downtrend, we come to the bottom of the range, we break out above the trend line. This is normally when we send it to the upside. We sent it here, and in my opinion, I think we're gonna start sending it to the top of the range over here. So I've personally double dipped on all, and I'll be looking to take a little bit of profit on a quick swing trade round about 750 to $800. However, my long-term bags, I'm looking for much, much higher price targets on all supply. This is just a quick double dip for a quick trade. My number one conviction bet for the Solana ecosystem is just gonna be simply buying spot Solana and staking it. 
Honestly, it's really, really hard to outperform staked Solana. If you're dabbling in different cryptos, you're probably losing value against Sol anyway, especially when you're staking it for 8% a year. It's just one of the biggest no-brainer plays in this cycle. Sol USD looks really good to me. Sol Leaf will be heading to new all-time highs very soon. Sol against Matic is in new all-time highs as of this week. Sol KDA is in new all-time highs as of this week. Literally most other cryptos are getting crushed against Solana. So if you're bad at trading, don't underestimate just buying Solana and staking it. Now, NFT is also making a massive resurgence right now. You can see a lot of top NFT projects, which have previously been kind of dying down a little bit, have been absolutely sending it recently. The main ones that I've talked about on this channel have been either the Nikadi Maker or the Retardio Cousins. I gave you Retardio Cousins roundabout free Solana. They're now coming back up to around about 9.3 Solana. So I told you to buy these much, much lower. If you've still got one of these, I still have pretty good conviction in these. Nikadi Maker as well. I think the artwork on these is really cool. I'm definitely not telling you to go out and put a large amount of your net worth in NFTs but I do have significant bags in these projects that I have mentioned. Finally as well, very similar to how staked soul is a no-brainer to me and all supplies are no-brainer to me, the Solana Chapter 2 Mobile is also a no-brainer to me. This phone has already paid for itself almost twice over as of right now. Imagine when Solana starts going absolutely parabolic, blasting into new all-time highs. There's going to be so many tokens which are getting created every single day on Solana. So many new meme cranes, so many new projects, and a lot of them are going to airdrop to the Solana Chapter 2 Mobile, especially when ZK compression rolls out. Instead of token owners having to spend 25,000 airdropping 150,000 people who've got the Solana Chapter 2 Mobile, the ZK compression is going to make this $100, $200, something like this to airdrop to thousands of people. So I think as soon as ZK compression rolls out, we're gonna see a lot more airdrops happening for the Solana Chapter 2 Mobile. This is a no-brainer to me. If you haven't already got one, be sure to check the description down below where I've got my referral. And as of right now, we do actually know that there's gonna be another project dropping to the Solana Chapter 2 Mobile in literally about two weeks or so. This is Holdium. We talked about this in our last video over on the YouTube channel. Be sure to go sign up for this. I'll also leave my referral for this down below. Basically how this works is you register your wallet. If you're holding a decent amount of meme coins such as Whiff or Chunky, etc., then you'll be allocated a certain amount of Holdium points. These points will convert into the tokens and then they're gonna airdrop them to you. And if you've got the Solana Chapter 2 Mobile, they're gonna airdrop 5% of the supply to Chapter 2 holders in addition to whatever points you've got. Unfortunately, if you're using a ledger, you still can't connect your ledger, which is a bummer because that is my main wallet, but I'm sure they'll sort this out before the registration ends in 11 days. So registration ends in 11 days. Make sure you sign up. Link to that will be down below. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I think $160 for Solana is right around the corner. Once we break above this level, we're going to be sending it to new yearly highs above 210 and then new all-time highs above 260. And of course, you know where I think we're going in the macro. So all I've got for today, if you enjoyed the video, smash like on the way out. See you in the next one. Peace.